Hey there. So day four. Uh, we've been out walking for about half an hour already this morning. We was up nice and early. Uh, gonna try and do about six and a half miles. Just like yesterday. It's really cold today though. So gonna try and do it as quick as possible. It was like a few days ago it was only 25 degrees. Yesterday 15. And this morning when we came out, it's dropped below 10 and it was 9 degrees. So I've thrown on another layer this morning and I'm going to try and keep the walk brisk to stay warm. Stupidly, I've kept my shorts on. Don't ask me why. Uh, feeling a bit tired today. I can sort of feel the fatigue building every day now. You know, an accumulation of the walking and the lack of sleep, I guess. And if anything, I just feel like I'm getting less fit by the day. I don't know whether that's partly to do with the, the surgery and the recovery of, whether that's to do with my mind playing tricks on me a little bit, uh, the mental side of things or whether it's part of the detraining process. I guess if anything, it's probably a little bit all three. Um, surgery wise, you know, my body right now is probably, well not probably, is throwing 100% of, it, of its efforts into getting me where I need to be. And that's not surprising, is it? Uh, I've never had surgery before, and it's no little, no little thing going under the knife. Mentally, well, I guess everyone knows what it's like when you you train a lot and everything revolves around your training, and when you have that taken away, and it's not your choice, that can play a big mental role. I mean, don't get me wrong, I take two weeks off every year out of training to sort of like decompress, reset, ready for the following year. But when it's not your choice, it's a completely different thing. So, and then the detraining de de side of things. Uh, last night I was reading about the detraining process and sometimes that's possibly the worst thing you can do. You know, sometimes ignorance is bliss. Uh, and it's quite scary what happens after the first seven days of no, no training. Uh, the first seven days you, you probably, if anything, get, gain a little bit of fitness. And that's probably why the uh, tapering process works for uh, leading up to events. But the rapid onset after the seven days is scary. I mean, the first thing that sort of happens is the, the blood vol volume in your body decreases. So your heart, heart has to work harder pushing the remaining blood around your system. So that makes your heart rate rise and your heart work harder. Uh, the second thing, that happens then is come on Marley Marley's about sniffing everything today I don't know if you can see that yeah there he is wean up everything putting his scent down so yeah what was I saying uh, yeah the next thing that happens then is uh, your body becomes less efficient in using uh, uh, glucose from, from, from the bloodstream sucking it into your muscles so your body, your body and muscles then have to dip into your glycogen stores uh, for that energy, and in turn your body has become is, is day by day is becoming less efficient in rebuilding those, those glycogen stores. And then effort-wise, your muscles also become less efficient in uh, flushing lactate, and that means 
uh, your, your long efforts start to shorten and you, you hit lactate threshold quicker. And then the, wor the worst thing of all was that in this process after the first seven days, uh, your VO2 max can drop by something like from 2% to 20% in just two weeks. I mean, how frightening is that? You know, all I wanted to do was, after reading that, was uh, get back on the train straight away and start working. Uh, I guess the one, the one ray of hope and light, I guess, was um, what I read about um, fitness, fitness memory. So uh, the scientists say they 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 can't explain why someone who's who's had a certain fitness level can gain that fitness back uh, very quickly and why someone with with a less less fitness it will take longer um so they re they reckon you you could gain your fitness level back within six weeks of the detraining process beginning so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and then really hope that that's the case um, and stick to the plan even though my mind is playing playing tricks on me and telling me to deviate from what I'm supposed to be doing because I know I'm supposed to be recovering now and not training that's the sensible thing to do and it's the right thing to do so I'm going to stick to that plan so that's all from me today anyway I'll catch you tomorrow for day six Onward and upward.